have a strong anointing on this ministry a strong anointing that will break you out of that old religious thinking and make you something that you weren't before Holy Ghost Holy is God Ghost in the earth God today, earth and you walk with Him by saying words. My name the is Andrew Armstrong. Thank you for joining on. us. If Jesus this is your first time right. here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, Ghost and these messages God are blessing the you, day. then consider becoming a partner with us. This message is for people who are going on. You know, a lot of people are not going on. Some people are happy to be where they're at, and so that's where they'll stay. But this message is not for those who want to stay, but those who want to go. I often say this, that this message is not for everyone, because it requires something of you. It requires that you have something before you even can hear it. I'm speaking from a place that some people don't even know exists. I speak from a different place. I speak from a position with the Spirit Lord. I lost some people already just by saying those things. They have no idea what I'm talking about. But I love the Holy Ghost. I love the Spirit Lord. And I've been changed by worshiping Him and it puts me into a different position there are some things that you simply can't experience simply can't know until you come to know him as God and begin to worship him there are rooms that are locked I'm telling you there's rooms that are locked from you you can't go in there until you begin to worship him in fact you're not allowed in how do you know I know because at one point I wasn't there and now I'm there and I got there by worshiping him the Holy Ghost there's only so far you can go by treating him as just an anointing I'm not saying you can't go far I'm saying there's only so far you can go if you're treating him the Holy Ghost as just an anointing welcome to 99 percent of the body of christ they just treat the holy ghost as if he's anointing matter matter of fact you say he's talking about the holy ghost that's what you think you're talking about and when i say i worship him as god they think i'm worshiping the anointing they they couldn't be further from the truth we've been there we've done that we've seen the anointing we've all experienced the anointing from one degree or another but he's not the anointing he anoints there's a difference and there's only so far you can go treating him the God that's in the earth today the Holy Ghost as an anointing he blocks you you don't go any farther than that now the anointings good the anointings acceptable treating him as an anointing is acceptable to some degree but it's not perfect do you understand and we need to go to the perfect and we can't go to the perfect if we've been all happy with the good and acceptable and there they'll stay are you hearing that there they will stay unless they change the way they treat him the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today Romans chapter 12 be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good acceptable and perfect will of God and if we're talking about God in the earth today we're talking about the Holy Ghost for he is God in the earth today so we're going to be proving the good the acceptable and the perfect will of God I'm not saying that the anointing isn't good I'm not saying the anointing isn't acceptable I'm saying we need to go to the perfect and without treating him as God you can't prove the perfect will of God in the earth listen the perfect will of God in the earth 
and you say oh there's a strong anointing on that ministry strong anointing on that ministry yep there's a strong anointing on that ministry but did you ever once hear them say out their mouth i worship you holy ghost he said did you ever hear them once say out their mouth i worship you holy ghost no then they can't go here they can go good they can go acceptable they can't go here i have a strong anointing on this ministry a strong anointing that will break you out of that old religious thinking tear it down and destroy it and make you something that you weren't before see something you didn't see before hear something you didn't hear before and many times that means you will have to let go of those things you were holding on to so tightly because the change has come and you must enter into it this is the day this is the hour it will cause you to put away the old you will see the difference and you will never go back there's enormous value in this room of the spirit and i will take you there with my words if you can hear them you think i've already broken so many things you haven't seen anything yet we're moving on we're going up some people aren't i started out by saying that some people aren't willing to go what are you going to do about it if they don't want to go they don't have to go but you have to go say i have to go you think i've already broken some things off wait till you see what's coming now what's coming the future is coming you're not going to the past we're going to the future and it's different habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 for the earth shall be say the earth shall be it shall be the earth where's the earth you're in the earth the holy ghost is in the earth the earth it shall be filled it the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord as the waters cover the sea i always say that well how 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 much do the waters cover the sea that's the whole thing the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord are you here the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the spirit lord say the spirit lord it didn't say the knowledge of how to die and go to heaven that's what the church has been running after to go to all the ends of the earth and fill fill the earth with the knowledge of how to die and go to heaven is that what that said no the earth the thing you're standing on shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord most of you don't even know who the lord is in the earth you don't even know who the god that's in the earth is the living god he's the holy ghost he's the spirit lord if you don't even have knowledge of him and his glory how's the earth going to be filled with it well he is the spirit lord he is the holy ghost second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord we beholding the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or as by the spirit lord he is the spirit lord the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the spirit lord you've got to have that knowledge first you've got to go now the lord is that spirit that spirit who that spirit holy ghost god in the earth today living god spirit lord 
and as i was meditating on this the holy ghost said to me because i was sitting there going ah they're so steeped in their ways they'll, they'll never get this they'll, they'll never go there and he said they can change you did i was steeped in it i've preached all the stuff and i'm not i'm not preaching against anything anybody else is preaching i'm just saying i was steeped in it that was my message until i got this message from the holy ghost they can change you did it's happening now it's a wonderful glorious thing to behold the holy ghost reaching out to people causing them to change and grab on to this last day message that he the holy ghost is the spirit lord god in the earth today and it's his glory that shall fill the earth like the waters cover the sea they can change you did you can change well somebody's got to be at the forefront anything god brings into the earth somebody's got to be at the forefront somebody has to be the spearhead of this jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 see i have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out to pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant so the first thing that has to happen is certain old things have to be rooted out and destroyed and then you can build and plant but he calls someone to do it see i have set thee this day over the nations to do it well i have an end time message the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words and the glory of the spirit lord shall fill the earth this message will completely transform you i have a message of complete transformation we go from good to acceptable to perfect we go from glory to glory to glory are you here complete transformation completely healed completely living in divine health completely having your youth renewed and complete prosperity and wealth you got a problem with that my people are healed my people have their youth renewed my people are wealthy they speak differently they think differently they act differently can you see that it takes some thinking and speaking differently to go here where i'm talking about well they are different people say all oh, those people are different yeah they are different i am transformed into exactly what i am says i am and that's a lot do you know that that's a lot of change that's a lot of transformation you think you're going to stay in your old place believing your old stuff and be changed that much not according to scripture that says you're changed from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord you think you're going to be changed to the next level of glory that we're talking about without acknowledging the spirit lord <sighs> good luck with that well i am transformed into what i am says i am but i must say it first talking about complete transformation hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 by faith enoch was translated that means transformed he was changed from one to another we go from glory to glory when you go to this glory you're transformed from that glory right by faith enoch was translated that he should not see death that was pretty transformed and he was not found because god had translated him for before his translation he had something he had this testimony that he pleased god a testimony is something you say and according to the word you have to have something said before you're translated into the next thing 
but most of the church world is not saying the right thing and they can't be translated until they begin saying the right thing the name the spirit lord has not crossed the lips of most believers therefore they can't believe what the spirit lord will translate them into welcome before his translation he had a testimony he had something said and it pleased god and resulted in his translation from death unto life right listen the holy ghost says this to you the moment you started confessing that word i began preparing that place for you the moment you started confessing that word i began preparing that place for you did you hear that that word would be whatever promise that was you began confessing listen the moment you began confessing that promise he began preparing that place for you don't stop you shall go forward and shall not go back you shall be changed from glory to glory into that thing that you've been confessing even as by the spirit lord i hope you're hearing this i'm i'm happy about it if you're not perfect yet you need to go from good to acceptable to perfect you go from glory to glory to glory you gotta you gotta go there you don't stop you go there god is not going to renew your youth so you can extend the past we have a lot of people even faith people that are believing for their youth renewed so they can keep going in their old past things they're not going to work like they were going to work like they used to work because we're in a new day a day when the holy ghost the spirit lord is requiring something different of you you must come up no he's not going to renew your youth so you can extend the past he will renew your youth so that you can form the future are you seeing it come up farther he says come up higher with me there is a departure from the old there is a departure from the old that is good and acceptable oh that's good that's acceptable and there's a departure from the good and acceptable are you here some people aren't going on that's acceptable some people aren't going on that's good that's not perfect i am a sent one with a message a lot of people don't like that a lot of people can't handle that but that's who i am i know what i am i know who i am i know what i'm called to do i am a sent one with a message and hopefully you can hear it that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him in the earth by saying words and he is the spirit lord and it's his glory it will begin to fill the earth as the waters cover the sea well listen the holy ghost says to you i have called you here this is no accident that you're hearing these words i've called you up and you must come and rise up with me in this place where you are being called stop going backwards stop looking backwards so many want to go back to the past but god is not listen god is not renewing your youth so you can go back to the past days of old where you thought it was so great he renews your youth so you can go to the future and to go forward with the spirit lord as god in the earth today 
Luke chapter 4 verse 4 and Jesus answered him saying it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God I like to look up all these words and the word live there means experience life man shall not experience life by bread alone but man shall experience life experience life you understand you'll experience life by every word of god or rhema theos that's all it says you shall experience life by the spoken word of god who does the speaking of the word of god you do the speaking of the word of god you want to experience life in this earth then it's going to be the spoken word of god that comes out your mouth that you will experience life a lot of you got that there must be life in that word that you're speaking to cause you to experience it how are you going to experience it you're first going to say it and then you experience it well if you do that you begin speaking his word and whose word is it the word of the spirit lord you're speaking his word you will be changed you will become an unusual person to everyone else around you but come up here come up to another level come up to another glory proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it the blessing of who the lord who are we talking about the spirit lord the blessing of the spirit lord will make something makes rich and adds no sorrow with it i was saying this verse of scripture and it came up into me well how rich will this verse make you how rich will this verse make me and the answer came forth as rich as you need to be there is no end to the word of god god released his faith in it and it will take you to the ends of the earth the earth being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord you will be transformed you will be changed how rich as rich as you need it to be to fulfill all things in the earth total transformation completely healed every cell of your body completely having your youth renewed to wherever it needs to be to fulfill all things does this make sense complete transformation completely made as rich and wealthy as needs to be for you to fulfill all things and when you're transformed you're made into something you weren't before my people are different my people are not the same as they used to be before we go from good to acceptable to perfect i can still sit there and say that's good but that's not for me i can sit there and say that's acceptable but that's not for me are you seeing this because i'm going on to the perfect will of god god the holy ghost the spirit lord god in the earth who is intent if you hear this listen he's intent on filling the earth with the knowledge of his glory and he is the glorious one the holy ghost god in the earth today are you here romans chapter 12 verse 2 and be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind is this a new way of thinking yeah be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove uh-oh that you may prove what is that that you may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of god i am that that i am says i am but i have to say it first if all i'm saying is the good that i'm only proving the good 
if I'm only saying the acceptable I'm only proving the acceptable but there are some of us in the earth in this day in this hour who will begin proving what is the perfect will of God his glory in the earth walking in it with him as the Spirit Lord worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard your word this evening and yes it sounded different many people have never heard anything like this before but this is the day and the hour says the Spirit of the Lord for you to come up and your ears have been opened and it's no accident that you were here to hear and these words will transport you from one place to the next listen and hear and obey and do and the Spirit Lord will cause you to be one of his very own people in this earth that he can pour out his glory upon and in and through and we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you shall fill the earth with the knowledge of your glory and part of your glory is wealth and I'm willing to be one of those that you present and display your glory through and I give you all the glory in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 